Okay, this cathode is now in its second day of treatment in the sun. I've wrapped this one in black plastic. It doesn't have to be black plastic because when the sun hits the cathode, it gets really hot anyway. So clear plastic will work. Uh, reflective white is not recommended. And there you go. You can see it. It's uh, getting hard. It doesn't have the tink, 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 tink yet. It's still kind of a thud. Um, once it does get fully hardened, it will start to make a tinking noise just from flicking it. Um, the main thing is, is to keep it curing for, I mean, I've seen some, it depends on how I, I mix it up, but I, I've got, I've had it to where they're ready to use in 12 hours. Uh, this one's probably going to need a couple more days of curing. Uh, which you just keep it wet that keeps the alkalinity inside of it very high keeps it from drying out allows the polymer reaction to continue on um, it's a multi-stage polymer reaction as one part of the reaction occurs it releases more alkaline materials further building up the internal alkalinity inside the pores which releases another stage of polymer reactions so it is a multi-stage polymer reaction. Process one has to happen. It produces what's needed to create process two. Um, heat helps it. You have to keep the humidity extremely high. Uh, so you wrap it in plastic. Um, I've done massive sheets of these and then gone back and cut them. Um, and that's what you're seeing most of my little flat plate. Um, my flat plate cathodes are also much thinner than this and a half pound probably create five of the flat plate cathodes you need 10 to make a 12 volt battery so you could make a 12 volt batteries rather powerful with just one pound um, of this material and you don't have to make them into square shapes you can make them round you can make them oval you can make them bowls you can make them tubes you can make any line you can make a dot you can make uh, little spheres balls you can make the balls smaller and smaller and smaller you can make lines you can make the lines thinner and longer and zigzaggy and whatever you wanted um, so that you can't do with current current graphite uh, cathodes uh, you, you just you, you can't do that in the industry uh, the the epoxies and stuff that they they've got that they use um, won't hold up. You can't walk on them. Uh, this you would be extremely impressed with how strong this will be in a couple more days, um, and then in two years it will be stronger, much much stronger than it is in a month. It'll be double or or even triple. Um, so over time, the the strength of this thing is. It does follow a logarithmic curve, but it's theoretically going to increase in strength forever. Um, forever. And that is an ex-newbie cathode. I'm going to seal it up, and we will be using this thing in next to no time.